people. When the devil takes something from you, preach George Bloomer. When the devil takes something from you, he doesn't destroy it. He takes good care of what he took from you. In fact, he takes better care of it than you did. Because he wants to show everybody that he got what was designated for you. I want to say it one more time. When he takes stuff from you, he does not destroy it. When he takes from you, he does not destroy it. He puts it in a glass cabinet and invites demons over to his apartment, his condo, his mansion, his chateau on the Riviere. He, he, he brings them over so they can see what he took from you. He holds them as trophies. So when you get back what the devil took from you, it's always in better condition than it was before he took it. Then he's got to pay interest on all of the time that he held it. You are about, and I know you hate me saying it over and over again, but you are about to come into something that is unbelievable. And the reason why I keep on preaching it, because Satan has blocked it, but I can see. And if you don't see it before you see it, when it manifests, you won't recognize it. You have no business looking at what you see. You have no business speaking to what you see. You have no business speaking to what you heard. Your job is to stand on the word of God. And if he spoke it, hold your peace and stand on his word and watch God bring it to pass. Look at your neighbor and say, it will come to pass. Scripture. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. Locusts is eaten. The canker worm. Uh huh. And the caterpillar. Yeah. And the palmer worm. Yeah. My great army, which I sent among you. Yeah. Let me tell you this. Satan's got it, but who gave it to him? Turn to them and say, God. He wanted to build your faith and perfect your character. Next verse. And you shall eat in plenty. And you shall eat in plenty. And, and you sad. shall eat in plenty. And you shall eat in plenty. And you, I lost my job. You shall eat in plenty. They laid me off. You shall eat in plenty. I use all my money in my bank. You shall eat in plenty. Put the scripture back up. And you shall eat in plenty. Look at your neighbor and say, you're going to eat in plenty. You're going to eat in plenty. You're going to eat in plenty. You and, and be satisfied. And be satisfied. So this ain't gonna be no plenty of pinto beans and plenty of pig's feet and plenty of pig's knuckles and plenty of, y'all ain't here, right? and plenty of hoghead cheese and plenty, no, you gonna eat what you want and be satisfied. Turn to your neighbor and say, somebody going to PF chain today. Somebody going there. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And you will never be ashamed. 